The only true Israel has Messiah Yahusha as its king and believers administering his Malkitzedic priesthood. So many believers have been duped. It's absolutely amazing to me, literally being duped into supporting an anti-Yahusha counterfeit. Why would you do that? They're supporting a state run by a religious clique that ho- lo- loathes Yahusha, absolutely loathes Yahusha. They blaspheme the true Messiah and they have been cut off. That's what the Bible says. They have been cut off. Yet too many believers have been duped to believe that the existence of the Israeli state is some kind of proof that biblical prophecy is being fulfilled in 1948. And then you've got all these timelines and everything's being projected out. And it's like they're using Israel as a state as the fulfillment of biblical prophecy and then projecting their timelines out from it, no wonder all the timelines fail. No wonder we've seen more false prophecy in the past 20 years than we have in the whole of mankind. More false prophecy since 1948. Because this is what we have been recipients of through Zionism in the Christian community known as Christian Zionism that has eventually gone into the messianic realm and everyone's still all rah, rah, rah and it falls flat on its face and everyone starts to become bewildered and they start to lose hope because they have been living as if Yahushua is going to come back tomorrow or next week or the next jubilee or the next biblical feast based upon all these false timelines based upon the false construct that the state of Israel is biblical Israel and it ain't. It's sad. Genesis chapter 48. Israel, Jacob, takes the sons of Joseph and he bestows his name, Israel, upon the sons of Joseph. Who has the right to the name Israel? Was Judah in the mix? Did Jacob, Israel, place his hand on Ephraim and Judah? Ephraim and Manasseh, the sons of Joseph, only the house of Joseph has the legal biblical right to the name Israel. And until the house of Joseph gets taken into the land, then it will be Israel. Israel.